This video is for my friend Hugo and anyone else who thinks Vim only has three modes. I was able to find about 55 of them. To be fair, a lot of these are a stretch and I was kind of squeezing the Vim sponge for the last drops of modes, but the first one everyone knows is normal. You can just move around. Then you've got visual, you can move around, but you select a little bit. Then visual line with capital V as you select, but line wise. And then visual block is that, but like block wise, which you can get with control V. So now I can select like that. Then we've got select mode, which is kind of weird. It's like visual, you get into it with GH, and then you can, oh, I always mess up select mode. GH, you can't move like you can in visual mode. You have to either use arrow keys or your mouse, which is just absolutely vile. And when you start typing something, then it'll just delete it. So if I type like G, oh, now I'm in visual mode. But if I type GH and go to select again, that using my mouse automatically takes me to visual for some reason, but now if I type G, it'll just delete. So it's like a weird kind of insert slash visual. It was added around the time that NeoVim was ported over to Windows, I think, or Vim, sorry, and the reason for that is just like they wanted more normy features. If you read the docs, there's a bunch of hostility towards Windows. I actually found this out from Stack Overflow, which is super underrated in this day and age. One, because like you're gonna be one of the only 10 users, so the latency is really good. And two, because LLMs are just so sycophantic and they're like, oh, you're right, you're right. And uh, compared to Stack Overflow, it's refreshing when someone's like, you mother piece of shit. you don't know anything. Then we've got select line, which you can get with G capital H same kind of idea and then select block with G control H and then we've got terminal which you can get with bot term or just term you can see there's terminal down there then we've got terminal but lowercase for some reason that's probably a mistake but basically we've got one shot terminal mode which is where you want to do one insert mode command or one normal mode command so you're in terminal mode you hit control O you can see terminal one shot and then we also have terminal one shot visual, which is where you go into visual. And then we've got terminal one shot visual block, which is you just control O, control V. Oops, I accidentally hit control Z and suspended Vim, but control O, control V, visual block. And a lot of these are just like weird combinations of each other and they're really like a stretch in the definition of what a mode is. So I won't go through all of them. You kind of get the idea. You can also do one shot and then select. So for instance, I'm in insert mode. I get control O and then G capital H. Now I'm in insert select line mode. Well, insert pending select mode. And yeah, same thing with the terminal. And insert obviously is where you can start typing. Then there's insert paste mode, which is if you do set paste, you get this additional little prompt on the end, and that's just saying like fix the indentation when I paste code in, sometimes useful. I don't know why I did lowercase, I guess that's just for operator pending, or maybe I'm forgetting something. But yeah, control O will give you operator pending. Then there's insert scroll mode, which is when you're in insert mode and then you hit control X, control Y, and now you're in insert, but you're able to scroll with control Y and E to scroll your view. Then there's insert visual mode, which is similar to what I showed in the terminal I, and then you can go control O and then like capital V, and now we're in insert visual line mode. And then same thing with all the different select things. And then there's replace mode, which is capital R, and then you can start typing over stuff. And then there is one shot replace mode, which is when you do capital R, but then you do, oh, and I forgot about replace paste mode, obviously, super essential mode. You hit control O and then you've got one shot replace mode. And then from there you could do something ridiculous like go into G control H. One shot replace select block mode. I don't know how you're getting around without using that daily. And yeah, there's all the combinations of that. No need to go through them. Then there's virtual replace mode, which is just replace mode. But if you've got like a tab character, like I can insert a few with control I. And then I do G capital R get into virtual replace and there's also virtual replace paste mode and now if I start typing it'll just go through tab characters like they're nothing like they're butter and yeah then obviously one shot v replace mode all the combinations of that okay so that's all the kind of boring ones out of the way now we have some interesting ones uh, let me actually close this terminal so that we have a better view 
now control X mode. So control X D gets you definition completion. It won't really work in here because there's no LSP or whatever going on. Um, path pattern completion, control X, and then I leave F, no, that's for files. I don't often use path as control X P, yeah. And then file name completion, as I said, dictionary completion, control X. I don't really remember what this one is, but it completes from your dictionary, whatever, you get the idea. Whole line completion, control X L completes whole lines. Uh, control X N, I think is local keyword completion. Yep, and then OmniFunk completion, also not set up for me right now, but it's just the OmniFunk. Everyone knows what that means, come on. Keyword local completion, I have that in there twice for some reason, and OmniFunk. Maybe I just copied them. Control X R for register completion. You can go through your registers, I suppose, and then Control X. How do you get command? There's command mode completion? Is that you? Uh, control X V maybe? No, wait, Control X, Control V. Yeah, command completion, that's nice. I didn't even know about that, I'm surprising myself. And those are all the major modes. There's a great chance I missed some random permutation of replace select line paste mode or terminal sub one shot mode or whatever. Um, but yeah, there's a couple of other ones. There is operator pending mode, which according to the docs is a mode, but it doesn't have the nice little like double hyphen thing. So I barely count it as a mode. And that's when you do something like V and then around, you can see there's like the A here and then S, oops, I waited too long, V-A-S for visual around sentence. But it's basically when Vim is just waiting for another key to go into effect. And then we've also got X mode, which is when you do G capital Q. And this lets you just like run commands over and over again without like closing the uh, little command prompt. And it doesn't update the screen either. And you can get out of this by typing visual. So those are all the modes I know of. If we delete some of these, I guess control X, yeah, it's its own mode. In total, that's giving us 53 modes, but you could argue a lot of these are super useless and redundant. Uh, that's about it. Hopefully you are more aware of the modes in Vim now, and hopefully you learned something you can take with you. I don't think there was much actually useful in this video. Honestly, if you're watching a video about all the different Vim modes, that's kind of too far, man. I would cut back a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I'll catch you next time.